Good morning, good afternoon or good evening depending on what time you are tuning in. My name is Rachel Goldsworthy and today we are at Pitt Town and I'm going to switch this around to show you what I can see. This is the lovely street from Pitt Town. Beautiful spot of town. And this is the gorgeous home that we have on offer for you. This one's for sale, it's a four bedroom, two bathroom, two car. Terrific stencil driveway as you come through. Walking distance to all of the schools and shopping centre. Well, we call it the shopping village, really. Good old pit town. Bird in the hand pub if you're wanting a little drink in the afternoon or on the weekend with family and friends. You've got pit town sports club. You've got lots of things on offer and walking distance. So pit town school, public school and likewise. This is as we're coming into the lounge room. Plenty of sunshine, vaulted ceilings, and you've got the combustion fireplace as well. This combustion fireplace has got that fan on the side, so when you're looking at heating a room, it's a lot more efficient when you have the fan because it throws it out to the areas that you want to reach. Internal access, so this is the look, the view from the, um, the front as I just walked in. So lovely entranceway, nice little mirror on the wall. Internal access to the garage, so plenty of space there. Master bedroom is off to the left hand side in the house. Lovely big room. Hi Mike and Gay, how are you? Nice to see everybody on the line. Lovely blue sunshine today, isn't that blue sky, sunshine in the sky. LED lights, ceiling fan, ducted air conditioning, all zoned for the family living and bedrooms. Walk-in robe as well with this particular one. You also have the key locks on the windows, which reduces your insurance premiums for most of the insurers, but obviously you take your advice from the insurance company. So hanging space, a plenty, shelving space, a plenty, and um, drawers as well. This is your ensuite off the master bedroom. So you do have the shower, adjustable headset there. So if you're a little bit taller or a little bit shorter, you can suit yourself there. Toilet, frosted window, bring in that beautiful sunshine. And you've also got the vanity with the dual tower rail which I always like, plus the IXL. IXL is great because, uh, I don't know about you, but in the morning time when it's really cool, you just want to warm up a little bit. And when you've got the fan on because you're using the, the shower, it's a bit cool when you hop out. But if you turn the fan off and then pop the uh, heat lamps on, it warms you up a lot. All right, so this is the other side or the other view from the master bedroom. Look at this garden that you get to. It's like a secret garden that keeps giving in this house. It's absolutely beautiful. Hi Heather, nice to see you on the line. All right, and this walking back out to your lounge room. What's everybody doing today? Start of the week, lots of things happening for everybody as it is for us in the office. All right, so that's the entrance, internal access to the garage, your lounge room, and we're here at Pitt Town. And uh, going through a house which is absolutely gorgeous. It's a four bedroom, two bathroom, two car. So this is your combined dining, lounge, living, your informal living, I guess, with the, the kitchen area. Now, what I love about the kitchen is you've got space within the pantry as well. We're always looking for space in the house. This one's for sale, Heather. It's not for rent, but... Um, there, we do have a lot of properties available for rent as well, which are leasing quite well. Um, hi, Helene, how are you? Or Lenny, as we like to call you. <laughs> All right, gas cooking. So you've got your gas cooktop. Plus you have your range hood pullout, plus your ga ga gas stove top here and gas oven. Some of them don't always have the gas oven. They'll have the gas cooktop, but they won't necessarily have the gas oven, but this one does. So a lot of people like cooking with the instantaneous um, feature of the gas. All 
All right, so that open plan living that people love. Cute little backyard, isn't it? We're gonna go out to that in a minute, but plus you've got those vaulted ceilings in the lounge room. Now, for those of you that like a separate wing, I like this particular area because you can close that door off. So you've got the, the kitchen, the dining, and the informal lounge area. Plus you have that sliding door which comes into a hallway and you have an another, another three bedrooms. Each room has a view, plenty of space in each of them, quite generous sizes because I think the newer homes that they're building, some of them are good sizes, but the older homes I'm finding, well, this is not really that old, it's only about 20 years old, but um, what we're finding is that they're a lot more generous in the size of the bedrooms. The feedback from the buyers is that they love the size of the rooms. So this is your built-in robe, plenty of storage space, So this could be your sewing room, it could be, you know, because you've got plenty of light, you the beautiful morning sunlight that comes in here. Ceiling fans in most of the rooms, together with the ducted air conditioning, as I said, it's zoned throughout, so you've got the family, living, and bedrooms all zoned. Carpeted in the accommodation areas. So going down the hallway, so quite a wide size hallway. So if you're looking for wheelchair access, this is an option. Obviously the carpet might need to be changed out with the wheelchair access, but it's certainly an option for you. So quite a large hallway, as I say. We're going to the second bedroom on the other wing of the house. So this particular one, once again, you have the ducted air conditioning. Brass features on the, the handles of the doors, together with the ceiling fans. LED lights as you go through. So midway on the, two, the, the wing of the two lots of bedrooms, you've got the laundry, equidistant. Plenty of storage space once again. So for the growing family, I mean, have we got any... Hi hey Donna, how are you going? She's saying, very nice, what's the address please? Yes, the address of this one is 12 Liverpool Street. It's just near, do you know where, um, well you would know, Pittsdale Public School, it's just in there, so. And you've got the manhole access from the laundry. Sometimes they have the manhole access in, whether it's the laundry or whether it's the hallway or the garage, just easy points that you can put a ladder so people can get up into the ceiling and, you know, if you're looking at putting insulation, I believe this one is insulated. It's really nicely set out, isn't it? You've got cupboards here on the low set, and then you also got the high set cupboards here. So moving down the hallway, just over halfway, we've got a two-way bathroom. So lovely to have that width of the vanity, because in the morning, sometimes you just want to spread out and put bits and pieces on the bench, you know, whether it's your makeup or whether it's your hair dryer or whether it's toothbrushes and family fighting over space to get to, um, to work or to school on time. You've got a shower, corner spa bath. Well, it's not a spa bath. It's actually just a corner stylus bath, which is a lovely um, option to have. Sometimes the spa baths are a little bit problematic with um maintenance on an ongoing basis some of the ones that i've seen so this one is not one of those so low maintenance and really good option plenty of space in the shower a little bit bigger than your average shower i'd say separate toilet the vertical blinds throughout and we're walking down the hallway continuing to that final bedroom in the wing of this side of the home. So built-in robes yet again, vertical blinds, LED down lights, the ceiling fans. Every part of the house has a view. So beautiful view out to gardens. As I say, this, this house is kind of like the secret garden for me. You've got so many gorgeous features of it. The smoke alarms the return air grill plus you've got a linen press plenty of storage and you've got a bit of depth to that as well perfect bathroom for you and him absolutely Donna absolutely she's um got some nice comments about this house uh I think that you know there's so many good things about this house like I, I don't know whether I mentioned in the lounge room just going back up to the front of the house 
you've got the vaulted ceilings. So look, look at the sunlight coming in in the morning. It's just gorgeous. This, take, this um, shot's taken if you're watching this later on, um, just late morning. So plenty of sunshine coming in, but the vaulted ceilings. But you've got the ducted air, plus you've got the combustion, which will heat the space very nicely. So I'm going to take you outside now so we can have a wander through the backyard as well. There's an alarm system. It hasn't been utilised by the current owner, but you may want to, um, you know, start that up. I think a lot of people I know that live in Midtown leave their keys in the car, so it's a very safe environment and people have really enjoyed living in the area over the years. So this is like a gazebo come um, natural part of the backyard, undercover patio, balcony, hardwood deck. You've also got a work shed down the back or workshop down the back together with side access to another secret garden so here we have a barbecue area and a beautiful walkway you know you can just see yourself you're on the other side of the lounge room now just for orientation for everybody but as you walk through your garden you've got the bromeliads the variegated bromeliads You've got the agapanthers, clivias, and you've also got that gorgeous crepe myrtle. Look at that. I think this is the pink one, the owner said. Look at the bark on the crepe myrtle. Beautiful, isn't it? This one also has a reticulation system, so you can just make out from that. All right, a little fish pond if you want to have some fish. Side access here to bring the, the bins in. Little bird bath and little bird feeder for birds to come and play. External electrical points. Plus you've got the aerial on top. And I don't know whether we can see, but I'll show you when I get back to the other side of the house. We've got those whirly gigs on the top of the house. Very technical name, I know. <laughs> but you have, you can just see it in the distance there. There we go. That just around, allows um, a little bit of uh, air coming into the cavity of the roof and cools the, the house down in those hotter summer months. All right, this is the backyard. How cute is this? And you've got the workshed on the other side. Plenty of garden beds ready to go. Jasmine along the side here. Rue de roses. That'll be beautiful. Geraniums along the side here. Gorgeous cashewina, the she oak. And you've got some zygots in the back here. I've got some zygots in the back of my, my garden as well. It reminds me of my grandmother. I really love them. What a cute old home. Begonias. And a different variety of zygote. Now this tree that these beautiful plants are leaning off is going to give you some gorgeous shade in summertime as well. So deciduous. So you get the sunshine during the winter, but then you get to enjoy the space and the shade in the summer. So this is the house looking back at it. You've got some garden beds that have been laid out for you. Irrigation systems, as I said. This is the workshop in the backyard. This could be a man cave, she shed, teenage retreat, uh, whatever people are looking at getting into. Brick and tile. So, um, you know, it's not very often that you see that you've got a work shed that has the, the brick and colour bond roof. So um, the house is brick and colour bond as well. And then the work shed brick and colour bond. All right, down the other side, you've got plenty of subfloor access, which is handy for storage for people. And you've got side access down the other side as well. Outside floodlights coming up the stairs. Oh, there we go. If somebody's a keen gardener, that's a terrific little space there. This is a view from the backyard. Nice little outside area, isn't it? A 
So did anybody have any questions at all in regards to this house or wanting to have a look through? We will be having open homes on this particular one in Pitt Town and happy to show you through. So what you probably wouldn't know by, I'm gonna flick it back at me. What you probably wouldn't know looking at this particular one is that you're so close to everything. Pitt Town is a great location, family friendly, your walking distance to everything. So walking distance to the shops, walking distance to the schools, walking distance to transport if you wanna get back into town. So that might just give people a little idea as to what's available. Uh, you also have Linwood Golf Course, which is not too far away. So if you wanted to get a meal with a family or you wanted to game, have a game of golf or just wander around um, town, Windsor is only about eight minutes, 10 minutes away. Uh, what else have we got? Richmond is close as well, Rouse Hill is close by. So plenty of options available for you. If you wanted to have something outside, you know, entertain, you could do that quite easily. You've got that entertainment area behind me here. Uh, you also have a beautiful home to be able to bring a large family or a growing family, because as I say, it's got the two wings. So you've got the master bedroom at the front with the other three bedrooms at the rear. So depending on whether you're wanting that separation from kids that are getting a little bit older or just your family's growing and you want to have that option to have space or you may be working from home and simply need all of those rooms to do whether it's sewing or whether it's some sort of hobby or just getting involved with, with what you're doing around the house and you need a little bit of space. So any questions that you have in regards to this particular home at Pitt Town or otherwise, I'm always happy to help. My name is Rachel Goldsworthy, 457779964, or you can catch me on my mobile 0418 410498. This particular home will be on the market in the coming days and we're happy to show you through and share you this home. Um, the owners are looking forward to, you know, getting a new home, a new property, um, a new family into the property and sharing the fun times that they had living here as well. It's been a great home for their family and uh, we're looking forward to seeing the next home or the next family in this home. Anyway, have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. What terrific weather we're really enjoying. And uh, at the moment, blue sky, I think the planet's enjoying this reset. How about everybody else? Is everybody resetting too? I think I have done a little bit of reset, catch up with the family and friends and um, really good time of my life. Anyway, have a great weekend, a great, great week I should say, <laughs> it's a weekend every day for me isn't it? Um, but have a great weekend, I look forward to catching up with everybody at the next house. Any questions don't hesitate to give me a call, I'm always happy to help you.